dirty dungarees laundromat and bar right now. This, uh, should I talk about the place or like what's happening tonight? It's a laundromat slash venue. It's pretty cool, pretty sick. I'm here to see a hardcore show tonight and get fucked up. Well imagine like a laundromat you can get like elbowed in the face at. And then also get like real fucking drunk out if you're like brave enough. That's kind of more or less what it is. Um, this is a laundromat and bar. Uh, it was founded originally by a uh, strip club owner for as a place for his uh, strippers to work on their off hours. Um, Eventually it became a venue, and uh, now there's great music here, like multiple nights a week, so that's why I'm here. I've been going to shows back uh, when I lived in Maryland, but I didn't know like what the scene, or if there even was like a huge scene here in Columbus. And I'm like, oh, well, there's a couple hardcore-ish shows going on at this random place. So I decided to go one day, and it just fall in love, fallen in love with it since. Uh, I would say that Columbus in the state it is in right now is one of the best scenes that I've ever had the privilege to play in or be a part of. The music here is of course what draws people in, but the community that has been built around that music and the fact that you can just book a show here for free with no booking cover, as long as you do it yourself and give the money that gets donated to the bands you're allowed to play, that's what makes it beautiful. There is a devoted group of people who come through and not everybody can say the same thing. There are some really great bands and like the people who come to the shows uh, care about the space, care about everybody involved and care about the bands, which you can't always say that, that all three of those things are true. Especially after the pandemic, um, you know, I, I think there were a lot of people who really wanted to like experience something that was like very tangible and very real, uh, you know, like especially like in the age of like you know, digital communication, everything feels very like distant and closed off and cold. And uh, I, I, I think there's like some certain uh, like aura of alienation that happens with that. And I think when you have these shows that are like, you know, just put on by the community, just put on by like just normal people, you know, just put these things together. I think you really have like, you have something that's really real. I would play here long before I played any of the other places I lived. <laughs> There's really nothing like it. Just everyone's bumping into you, you're bumping into everyone, like just not even thinking, just kind of moving. It's really exciting. I think I think there's kind of a technique to it. Um, maybe not for everyone, but I know for me at least. Because you know, it's all it's like horseplay basically, right? Like you're not trying to actually hurt anybody, you're all just trying to have fun. So um, you know, some people they really like to windmill, some people like to uh, throw hands. Some people like to just sort of jump around. I'm kind of one of the people who mostly just jumps around, to be honest. I don't know, man. When I hear a good riff, I just want to like take off like a rocket, you know? Born and raised in Columbus, I wasn't like around a bunch of people who liked the same kind of music, liked the same kind of fashion, would appreciate my eccentricity, if I may say. Um, but I've been going here for a while and I've made some really good friends and fantastic connections and that's really, really important, especially being from a place known for being so boring. A lot of my friends had moved away after they graduated, so like I was just kind of like runnerless and then I found this place and now I'm like around and you only have to come a few times for people to start like talking to you and like 
getting to know people. Everyone's so inclusive and no one cares how you look, act, or dance. So you can do whatever the hell you want without being judged. I'm a trans woman um, and it's a space where I feel safe in. But not just that, I also feel like just another person here in the sense that I'm not otherized in like a liberal way of being too like, oh, you're so brave. And I'm also not being picked on by like very conservative people. I'm just another person here. But really like all this around us right now, that's the reason why like I would rather live here than like anywhere else. <laughs> band Flesh Piles playing tonight. Um, I started going to shows uh, last April. Um, hello, that's Newt. For me, is it's one of the like the last venues that's not really a, like a pay to play kind of place. Um, it benefits the bartenders. It benefits the touring bands. It's really easy to book, uh, and a lot of people in the community uh, get a chance to do really cool stuff. <laughs> It's like I kind of have a lot of mania in my life and a lot of either feeling really good or really bad. It just like kind of is an outlet for me to let out all my anger because I have a hard time expressing it in real life. <laughs> a lot of the people that kind of like have an opportunity to speak here um, are sometimes not cis white dudes um, or they like pass the mic along to people that I feel like uh, have more to say and I think that's important. Um, also, I just think it's really important to kind of see what kind of art people are making and, and see them grow. And I like to see the timelines and people um, throughout their life. And I feel like I really get to witness that here. The, one of the things that is special about this room is that it's all ages. And I think hardcore is at its best when it is, because I think hardcore as a genre is for young people. Uh, it doesn't need to be for people who are old because it's a subversive cultural thing and, and you can't be subversive when you're aging and becoming like the norm. I think generally that shit is for young people. Hardcore is a weird thing to be into, especially when you're a lifer. Like It's a very weird subgenre. That's why it's not for everyone. It can be for anyone, but definitely not for everyone. And so I think having a weird space kind of uh, helps facilitate that, that outsider culture in a way that is positive. Like drywall mixture. You ever like eat drywall? 